All right, guys, so now that we're inside of After Effects, we have this clip right here. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be recreating this like really dope looking paper stop motion animation effect. It's really, really simple to create actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to this clip right here, which we're gonna be editing. And I'm just gonna select it so that we know which layer we're working with. Clip one, the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna hit Command D to duplicate it. You're going to double click that top layer and you're going to rotoscope it. So we're gonna be rotoscoping. We're gonna grab our roto brush tool right here. And for those of you who don't know how to rotoscope it's very simple you just select your subjects with the green tool and to correct any areas that after effects makes you can just hold option or alt if you're on pc and color over those with the red roto brush tool and it'll just deselect it we actually have a full tutorial linked right here which you can check out how to rotoscope it's actually really simple and super easy by the way if you ever encounter this yellow frame rate mismatch error in your rotoscope it's a really simple fix all you have to do is go to your composition composition settings and change your frame rate to exactly the frame rate that it says right here so it says 44.738 frames per second and we're at 44.73. So we just need to add an eight. I know it's really tedious after effects is like that and boom, the error is away. And then all you have to do is just drag along in your timeline and let after effects adjust the roto brush. And we're gonna go ahead and speed up this portion. Now, once you're done rotoscoping, just hit the freeze button icon right here. And this is going to lock in all your rotoscoping so you don't lose anything in case there's an After Effects crash. And now once we're done rotoscoping, come back to your main composition right here. And now it's time to add some fun effects. So I'm going to go ahead and first just select this color and let's label this like blue just so that we know which one is our rotoscope layer. And we're going to rename this as well to Roto1. There you go. Now what you're going to do is we're just going to hit Command D and duplicate that roto layer one more time. And what we're to do is we're going to select the first bottom roto layer and we're just going to go ahead and scale that one up a bit so we're going to scale it up just like that much right there that looks pretty good and now we have this cool echo effect it's time to actually add our paper effects these paper animation files that i'm going to be using I actually took the pictures of real pieces of paper animated them in premiere pro and just made a bunch of cool different presets that you can use all these files right here are actually part of our new mixed media newspaper pack it's absolutely insane just drag and drop and you can just key out the green super easy but one of my favorite things about this this pack is that we actually have this like paper texture animation and it's really easy to apply to basically any effect where you want to create a mixed media look i'm going to go ahead and drag it in between both of our rotoscope layers right here and you can see i actually have to scale it down just because it's in like 4k resolution then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my effects and i'm going to search for an invert effect so that i can just change this black paper texture to a white paper texture so now it's looking pretty standard newspaper texture-ish and now for the main effect is the track mat pick whip tool drag your track mat pick whip of your mixed media paper animation and drag that to the roto layer below it and boom there you go now you have some cool paper edges by the way if you don't have a big budget right now of course there are other ways that you can achieve this paper look you can even just go on google and search for some wrinkled paper effects you can just go ahead and take some screenshots of some of these these would work perfectly fine as well you just have to go ahead and animate them but now that we have this paper edges effect let's go ahead and finish the rest of this effect i'm just gonna go ahead and trim off these edges right here and basically we want like a really cool build up like stack up paper animation effect as it becomes like stop motion ish so first of course just make sure you readjust your roto to exactly how you want it because once you have it locked in that's pretty much the way it's going to be for the rest of the video so what i'm first going to do is i'm going to hold shift and select our mixed media texture and then our bottom rotoscope layer and we're going to right click that and pre-compose that into one layer so now that we have this nice pre-comped layer what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually create like a, a stack up reveal mask animation effect so i'm going to grab my pen tool i'm going to go a couple frames in when the effect starts let's just go ahead and create a nice little like rectangle box animation right here and now you can see our effect disappears i'm gonna hit the drop down on mask mask one and hit path keyframe and then we're gonna go a couple frames in and we're just gonna go ahead and drag these top keyframes to the top so that the effect fully reveals that'd be pretty cool once it plays out and now you can see boom we have this cool like reveal effect now it's time to go ahead and make everything feel super mixed media and just add some cool stop motion and other mixed media assets to it real quick i'm gonna go ahead and add a cool little paper frame in the background now in the original video right here we have some like cool extra frames this paper frame effect right here shout out to the goat himself brian delamata this one is from his paper pack one of his paper packs you can check it out at his website he is absolutely the goat at these paper stop motion effects and like not even gonna lie so go check out his website if you want to get this actual exact file it's linked below in the description but once again if you don't have a budget you can always go to google and grab some free images right here so this is a free wrinkled 
paper texture edge right here that you can just take a screenshot of and drag that into your clip. So I'm gonna drag this into our layer right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and change the blending mode to something like screen so that we have it nice and blended into our video. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a random screenshot from our clip of like some boxing over here. Boom, there we go. Now we have a nice screenshot from our clip. So we're just gonna go ahead and fit this over our little like paper texture overlay right here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that I drag my screenshot below the paper texture. So this is our paper texture layer. This is our screenshot layer. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and trim down this paper texture so that it fits directly over that. Command Shift D and delete it. And if you wanna add some cool stop motion animation reveal to it, you can just go ahead and hit Command Shift D like maybe a couple frames before the clip starts and then we can just go ahead and use our pen tool to just like mask out just one layer so it feels like it kind of unfolds and creates this cool mask effect i'm gonna do the same mask for this bottom layer right here there we go now you can see we play that out boom we have this cool like stop motion reveal effect and then the paper animation everything's looking really dope i'm gonna go ahead and delete this random extension layer because we don't need that right now it's kind of messing up my workflow and now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead hold shift and just select every layer right here that we've edited so far and we're going to right click them and pre-compose them into one layer we can just go ahead and hit command shift d to trim that down and now you can see if i turn off the visibility everything is disappeared and we have all our effects in this one layer right here now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead go to our effects number one we're going to search for posterized time we're going to drag that to our pre-comp layer and I'm change the frame rate to about 12 frames per second we have this cool like stop motion effect to it and it makes everything just feel a lot more cool and like mixed media like now I'm gonna go back to my files and drag in another mixed media paper texture from our mixed media pack at 11%.net. Of course, scale it down because it is 4K resolution right here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and change the blending mode to screen so that it blends in. And dude, look at this. This is looking absolutely insane. We have this like stop motion feel to it. We have this mixed media texture applied. It looks really dope if you ask me. I can go ahead and just turn down the opacity a little bit just so it's not like super paperish. But honestly, that's looking looking pretty cool if you ask me. One last effect that we're gonna be recreating that Jordan used in his edit right here is the stopwatch timer effect. It's a really cool, simple effect. It just adds like level and intensity to the edit. And it's also really simple to recreate. Of course, you're just gonna create a text layer right here. And we're just gonna start off by typing zero, zero, zero. Uh, this by the way is a digital seven mono font right here that I downloaded for free online. So you can just create this like timer looking effect right here. So I'm gonna go to my effects and presets and I'm gonna search for the slider effect control. and I'm gonna drag that to my timer. We're going to be using some expressions. Now, don't freak out if you've never used expressions before. They're actually really simple. All you have to do is copy and paste. I've linked below in the description the expression that we're going to be using. All you have to do is copy it and paste it when I tell you to. Hit the drop down on your text layer, of course, and hit the drop down on the layer that says text again. And then you're going to hold option or alt if you're on PC and select the keyframe icon of the source text. Now you're going to see we have this expression panel open up in our timeline. Don't freak out. Go to the link in the description and you're just going to select and copy this expression expression text by hitting command C. Then I'm gonna go to this source text right here in our expression panel and hit command V to paste everything. Nothing has happened, but don't worry. It's actually very, very simple. Before you do anything else, just go to your file and hit project settings and then go to expressions and make sure you're on legacy extend script. This is very important. If you're on JavaScript, it won't work. You have to use legacy extend script for your expression to work just the way it works. And then now you see, once we go to our slider, we can adjust the slider and we have this cool timer animation effect and you can make the timer go to however high you want it's actually a really really cool effect i'm going to go to my effects and presets one more time and search for a glow effect just to make this thing pop a little bit more and i'm just going to increase that radius up to about like 34 ish now let's close this drop down let's go to the layer that we want to add this effect to i'm gonna hit command shift d to just trim down this text layer command shift d one more time and then i'm just going to go ahead and track the camera of this one clip so that we can make sure that this timer looks like it's in three 3D space and it'll look really, really cool. Trust me. Once that camera track is done, you'll see we have all of our 3D flowers. Love our 3D flowers right here. And what you're just going to do is you're just going to go ahead and create a camera. And now final part, just go ahead and turn your text layer into a 3D objects by selecting the cube icon right here. And now you're going to see, boom, it's in 3D space. It's kind of moving around really crazy, but all you have to do is just scale it up. Make sure you turn on the motion blur as well so that motion blur is accurate. Actually, I'm turning off the motion blur right now because the 
triggering is just way too much. But you can just go ahead and readjust this timer text to wherever you want. You can of course go ahead and rotoscope your subject so that that timer text is behind them. And then last but not least, just go ahead and turn on the keyframe for your slider. Go to the end of the clip and just turn up that slider a bunch so that number counting is just going up and boom, we have this cool like timer effect. Everything looks super insane. We have a bunch of crazy camera movement, some stop motion effects, looks absolutely sick. And with that, here are the final results. Thank you.